Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry, man. That's a bit later than uh, what was expected. All right. So for the guys keeping tabs, we are busy building Eivor Zax from Assassin's Creed Valhalla. This is episode 2.3 in the live streams. Yeah. Okay. So let me bring my mic down. If anyone's live, please let me know what the sounds like and uh, we can take it from there anyone in here yet hello afternoon Jack how's it going brother please uh, let me know what the sounds like anyone 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 so what I'm busy doing is uh, I'm weeding out I'm weeding out, weeding out, and weeding out. So I've transferred the design, cut it out, and now I'm weeding it up, and then I drop a piece. Stay there. That's the last of it, I believe. Yeah, that's about it. Sounds good. Thanks, gentlemen. Well, Sean, how's it going, buddy? So let's do this, yeah. That's Sean in the house. I've got Rian saying, how's it going? And then uh, Sean is telling me, sounds good, sounds good, sounds good, sounds good. I am good, brother. I am good, man. So we're on this, yeah? that side is already carved so let me do this so that side that's what we carved to, well i carved today remember we've done the back side you can see on this one i've done the background everything is nice and level yeah yeah i've just hogged everything out the background still looks like crap i still need to go in there and clean that up i might actually want to make this a tad deeper because i've done my first little test on the foil wrap yeah or the pewter wrap. And the depth and definition is cool. It's nice and hardy. But that background is now pulling through. Yeah, And that, that looks dodgy. That really looks dodgy with that background in that state. So there's a bit of cleanup that still needs to happen there. Yeah. So we will get there. But I need to transfer the design to the other side. And now my sticky bits are coming off. Yes, yeah, so I need to do the background. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to cut the border first. I've cut it up. Or I've marked it out with a uh, with an inch cutter. So I'm just going to start cutting that border in. So the process I'm following now is slightly different from. Uh, how I've done it on uh, the previous carving. There's a lot of guys uh, asking whether this is engraving. No, it's not. It is literally carving wood. Yeah, as you can see. This here has got very, very little to do with engraving. I need to be able to see the line there. I'm losing my friggin' line.
And it's kind of important that I don't. We're going to chat. Leave some comments. We're going to chat with them up. There goes another fairly important piece. Now, seeing that this is glued down with a uh, prit, all I'm doing is I'm just wetting the prit on the back of the paper, and uh, well, there she sticks again, yeah. know if I'm in shock here. Sorry, the angle's a bit odd, I know. Maybe if I do that. How's that? Just leaving out that bag around here so slightly. Okay, so that was it for uh, this piece. Excuse me for two seconds, gentlemen. I just had to greet my wife, yeah? Can't have uh, me smooching her on air. Uh, okay, so now we're going to go to an extremely, extremely, extremely fine ball burr. Extremely fine. Didn't even know how big that one is. But she's tiny. Really, really tiny. So all I'm doing now is I'm going to go start at the corner, start at the bigger spot. And hog out. So if you've been following my stories, 
this little ball there is the one uh, that I lost my cool about earlier this morning. I must admit, this process is a lot easier. So, let's see who's up here. Who is saying what in the world of uh, social media? Mm, Jack is saying... <laughs> Mr. Zwan, how's it going, man? How you doing, buddy? <laughs> Thanks, man. Farid, thank you very much, man. I almost done with the eggs. Hell no, brother. I have got uh, quite a ways to go still. <laughs> Nicole, how's it going? <laughs> uh, All right, let's have a look. Uh, who else is in here? Uh, get yourself a full ballpoint pen lines to got like a sore thumb. Jack, yeah, man. Um, I actually realized that today. I have one. The problem is that it is a thick one. It, it is not um, a 0 0.3 or even a 0 0.5. Um, now, I do have a 0 0.3 black. Um, I tested it on a piece of wood, and luckily I tested it first because it, um, man, being ink-based where the... Uh, the silver pens are paint-based. The paint doesn't absorb into the wood as much, but the ink does. And luckily, I tested that. Otherwise, I would have had a little black outline. But on hindsight, if I was going to paint or mask or tone the wood, which was the original idea, um, then I would use a black marker to uh, uh, to for in, uh, penetration into the wood to define the, the sharp outlines. Yeah. Um, but my do gilding. I've got gilding paper as well. So I'm not going to try gilding, um, but the gilding isn't that hardy as uh, I would like the thing to be. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. So, But yeah, Jack, that uh, silver pen is a good idea, man. Uh, Eugene, sorry, buddy. <laughs> I like that short. Uh, thanks, man. Yeah, man. Uh, do I play Assassin's Creed Valhalla off camera? Yes, I do. Um, a game is kicking my ass. Seriously, I'm, I'm not a... So we've got an Xbox, or the kids have got an Xbox. Cheers. And for uh, the last forever and a day that they've had this thing, I have maybe played four hours in total. I'm not a gamer, man. Um, but I must admit, I started playing uh, Valhalla, and I am hooked. Uh, so much so that I do about... Fuck, I've done probably six, seven hours on that game since I got it, uh, which for me is... is that's a lot. That is a lot. Yeah, that's a lot. Uh, so much so that my dagger project is is kind of suffering. So this thing here is now suffering as a result of Assassin's Creed. So I've, uh, over the weekend, said no to gaming and uh, actually worked on this thing. Yeah, uh, which I'm highly excited about. But that's not what we're doing. We are building this axe. And uh, just to give you an idea. Yeah. Okay, let me just get my flexi sharp out of the way. Yeah. This thing is starting to look freaking epic. You don't have to say so myself. See that stupid grin on my face? That's this thing. Yeah. Now imagine all the lines which I'm planning to well, planning on putting in tomorrow. 
Uh, I want to get the basis, even if it's just if I get a third of the way, that's good because I'm already running ahead of schedule with that side. Um, and then tomorrow I want to finish that and that so I can do the planning on the handle. I've already masked it, the whole thing. Um, I want to get all the carving done by Wednesday. And then that leaves me Thursday and Friday to do all the finishing on this thing. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully two days will be enough. Um, Travis, thanks, buddy. Hassan. Excellent, man. Uh, Tim Brown. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, buddy. Um, thanks, man. It is, uh, it's taking its toll on me eyes, I can tell you what. Johan, how's it going, buddy? How's it going? And uh, as per normal, if uh, anyone in uh, Joe Bulgaria, Pretoria, Krugersdorp, especially Krugersdorp, Randberg, uh, uh, Kenmer, um, Ruhrapurt area is looking for internet. Yeah, signify. Why? Because Johan's good, mate. Um, you're only seeing the stream because of Signify. So, give Johan a call. Yeah, Johan, maybe you should give me your number, the office number, so I can put it in here, dude. <laughs> but Johan is a good mate, man. Thanks, buddy. Uh, the internet over the last, last couple of days has been bumping like mad. Johan has done some serious upgrades. And that is including all the freaking storms. I know all my neighbors are down. Suckers. Uh... Travis, thank you, man. That is appreciated, buddy. <laughs> I want to keep this thing, man. <laughs> seriously, the closer I get to finishing this thing, the, the more I want to. I want to seriously keep it here. So I don't know. I haven't done the, the invoice yet, so um, it is still my property. Yeah. So we might have to fight for it. We might just have to. Uh... Can you imagine a torty pulling his car up here and you pull that thing off your belt <laughs> in retaliation? Dude, that torty will crap himself. Yeah. Especially if I start screaming like a banshee. Yeah, dude, I, I know, I know, I know. Um, if I could just get the game story, the the, the movie play uh, figured out. Um, in other words, just sit there like a movie, put my ass down and just watch this thing. The cinematics and uh, is just phenomenal. If you guys don't know, yeah, it's Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Go and play the game, man. It is freaking rocking. <laughs> I want you, dude, but there's going to be a lot of people that are really, really angry with me. Um, so I'll just take a lot of photos. Um, Rian, buddy, if you're still in here, yeah, it's going to be at uh, Brooklyn. So. It's confirmed, uh, Rian. Who, where is Rian? Where is Rian? Uh, Mr. Rodeman over there will be at the Brooklyn Knife Show uh, taking pro shots. So this is the gentleman. Oh, I'm trying to point to his name now. Damn, that took way too long. That is the gentleman that takes all my pro shots. Yeah, he's going to be uh, the Brooklyn Knife Show official photographer. Um, and uh, he's going to be there. So if you want pro shots of your knives being taken, be there. Done. You don't have to participate in the show if you want Rian to take photos of your knives. Bring your uh, precious with, and you will. Yeah? Rian, if you'd uh, do me a favor, and on the, the Brooklyn Knife Show uh, WhatsApp group, uh, just post some some pricing. Yeah? Uh, or send it to me, and then I will post it. Yeah? All right. So let's get back to this thing. Building a Vorzax. I just want to chop stuff. Yeah. I might have to go to the market on Friday and go get some fresh produce and then make myself a salad. I might just have to do a, 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 a I don't know, a video on how to make a salad with an axe. <laughs> I think it'll be a cool idea. Let's get back to. Uh, my uh, chipmunk and my chipmunk doing some holes. Let's just do that. Yeah. So my chipmunk carving some holes.
I might need a, I don't know. I wish we go and attack that Torty and get him to uh, just come and blow on the axe the whole time. So as you can see, just getting rid of that background takes a, a while. Am I in picture? Yes, I am. So it's not just a matter of getting rid of the background. It's trying to get it as smooth as possible. And that's where uh, the poor boy hits the fan, yeah? So, working it up both hands and then using this as a, a little, I don't know, counter, little lever, little, I don't know, little pencil. So in every one of these live webcasts, there's someone that asks me, what am I using here? So this is a uh, Fordham SR Flexi Shaft. Fordham SR Flexi Shaft. It's got a foot pedal, which you can't see down under. I step on it, it starts rotating very slowly. Same as a car's uh, gas pedal. Stick on the pedal, push it down all the way. And that's 20,000 RPM with a carbide burr. And, well, I affectionately refer to it as much a punk. No, hold on. This burr here is not carbide. This is HSS. So high speed steel. It's not a carbide one, so you can't do, uh, well, you can do steel, but it's not going to last very long. Um, so for steel, I use carbide. Now it gets a bit weird. Let's do the inside of this first. And then we'll go back to comics. In the back of your mind, you constantly have that don't screw up, don't screw up, don't screw up, don't screw up. Yeah. But the, the more mm, uh, non politically correct version. So, over the shoulder here, which I've come to call this really uh, difficult part. If you remove that first. So, it gets really tricky over that part.
Don't worry, I just didn't cut that piece away. But she's supposed to look like that. And if it didn't, well, it does look like that now. So in other words, see, it just does a zoop up to there. Zoop up to there. So once the paper's off, I go in and then we go and smooth everything nice and, and tight and round and get everything all nice. But getting that background at the same level is the thing that really, really takes the time out. So not the bevelling. The bevelling is, uh, oh, come on. I leave that freaking comment on there all the time. Now I can't use any of that footage. Come on, stop doing that comment. Yeah, Fordham is uh, like the the hobbyist version of uh, any and all of these things, yeah? Uh, for, but Fordham really is like a hobby tool. Look, it'll work. It'll it'll really work. It just won't last. It's not as versatile as this. But this is ever so slightly more expensive than a, a Fordham. Now, there are cheaper versions of this on the market, like really, really dodgy versions. But they will work. Go into the section here. Let me just finish this. And then we'll look into comments again, yeah? been doing this for 28 minutes yeah and uh that's what we have got so far after 28 minutes of fun yeah it's not a lot now you can uh, kind of get an idea how long it takes to remove that background if you saw my post this morning when i started doing this i said uh well there goes the rest of my week I was not kidding. Uh, Travis, thanks, buddy. Neil, how's it going, dude? Sorry, I'm trying to look past my camera. Let me just get my camera off. Yes, I'm not going to be looking at the camera. Bladder, bladder, bladder. Okay. And the camera is droopy now. But I really want to see the comments, man. Um, Dodging the camera to try and see what's going on. Play Fruit Ninja, Tegan is saying. Buddy, you've got it. I am going to be playing Fruit Ninja, yeah? Now it's a selection of... Uh, uh, it like face cook of the cruise... Oh, of the, the forge, Um Did I make fake cook fat cakes on the forge? No, I did not. Um, for the sheer fact that my, my wife told me I'm not allowed to take the oil. Uh, he doesn't trust my pots, man. Sell it with an axe. Chop up chicken. 
or an ostrich. Ooh. I might, 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 might just uh, have to do an Yelant salad on Friday. It's either going to pan out on Friday or on Saturday, I think. Uh, my good mate is working on it, Mr. Vaughn Ball. Yeah, Eugene. Always fun, dude. Always, always, always. Now, my wife said I should smoke less, so we're only going to do one cigarette. Well, she told me to smoke less while broadcasting, not have four or five cigarettes while I'm talking crap. Only one. So uh, I'm, I'm trying to stick to her wishes, right? Uh, what things am I going to be chopping? There's definitely going to be a watermelon, yeah, because I really, really dig watermelon. Um, have to put it in the fridge first, um, so that it's cold when I chop and munch into it. Um, I don't know, I might just have to and not chop at all. I don't know. Uh, what else? Uh, I don't know. You want to split <sighs> grapes? I don't know. Uh, kiwi, kiwis, kiwis. I like kiwis. Um, I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know. Whatever is in season, um, and then whatever I can afford. Uh, there was a couple of guys that said, "Hey, there's a style doc, uh, like a, a an army helmet uh, that they want me to chop into and and and." Um, but those guys have just faded, fizzed away. Um, I do need um, those things here by Friday. So you've got anything that I, you would want me to chop, um, then send it my way, man. How long would it take by hand engraving? Hey, dude, this thing? Fucking months. Months, I tell you, because it is not hand engraving. If you want to do 3D carving or, or serious carving with this thing, it'll take you freaking months, um, especially if you have to do it in steel. Um, done, man. I mean, that was just using the same method, same tools, just in steel, and that took forever and a day. Yeah, so just doing both of those, those sides um, was, I think it's something stupid, like four days. And uh, when I say four days, it's an eight hour day. So that was four days worth of work. There's no farting around and talking crap in between like we're doing now. Um, so I go through the video footage and I capture every single section. Second, um, just making sure that we are recording. Uh, how's it going, brother? Lucas. Uh, yeah, beanbag type support for the work rest would help. Um, but I like the overhang on the jeweler's uh, peg. Um, and as soon as you've got that, used to that, then by all means. I do have my hammer bag right here. Um, so you could use this. This is lead filled. Um, so if you want to hammer repose work, um, another little project I'm working on is just sculpting to see whether my plate dimensions is actually correct. Um, and you put this down there and you hammer. It's a surface that, that gives. Yeah. But that is a, a failed little experiment. We're not going to go with that concept. It's not for the axe, by the way, if you're thinking. That would not fit the design. <laughs> that was for a hairbrain scheme I had over the weekend. What else can I do? What what else can I do? Andre, how's it going, man? Um, I mean, this is this is the thing. Uh, playing around, playing, playing, playing is uh, what 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 gets you to play. Yeah, that puts your knives aside, whatever you do, um, that puts it into a completely different bracket. Um, Best advice I was ever given as a knife maker is don't look at other knives on Facebook. Don't. Don't look for inspiration through other knife makers. Uh, look for inspiration in, his, in history and in, um, um, in nature. Um, and as a graphic designer, I can attest to that. Don't, 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 don't. Um, so obviously in the beginning when you're learning from a specific person, you will kind of inadvertently adopt his or her style. Um, and your knives will kind of look like that. When you see that resemblance in the knives, um, then head opposite direction, completely, completely opposite direction. Uh, go find your own thing. Um, the Americans love talking about uh, your signature blade. I can tell you one thing, for the first odd four or five years, you won't have a signature blade um, unless you just 
don't spend any time online and just do your thing um dan thanks buddy that is a, a compliment of note seriously i i appreciate that man uh <laughs> I know a little joke about that, uh, the difference between an English no and an Afrikaans no. Uh, so this, this dude was sitting in uh, the movie theater with his girlfriend, brand new girl, right? First date, so he puts his hand on her leg and she goes, no. And he goes, English or Afrikaans? So in English, everyone knows, no is, no is no, right? But in Afrikaans, no but you can, uh, means now. So... Bit of a word play there. Yeah, I suck at telling jokes, man, but it's a cool joke. Uh, uh, dude! Yes, Andres, that would be freaking awesome. And, dude, I'm still waiting for your phone call. Damn it. Don't want to put my number up. Uh... <laughs> The guys out in freaking wherever, don't spam me. Yeah, Andres, buddy, give me a shot. Yeah, my number I've just put on. Uh, there we go, on screen. Give me a call. Yeah, send me a WhatsApp. Uh, we can get together, buddy. Ruan, how's the game? Thank you, brother. That's appreciated. Jan Hendrik de Vick, chop into skulls of your enemies. You've got it, buddy. That is the reason people get offended on Facebook because no one stabs his mate anymore. Yeah, well, I'm saying he's mate. Don't don't stab your mate. Uh, but if someone pisses you off, yeah, no one is going to grab. No one is grabbing the glove and slapping the oak and saying, "Hey, I'll see you on the commons on Saturday." And only one of us is going to leave there. Then you pull out your rapier and you go and stab the. Could it piss you off so much? Um, depending on your skill, done. Not wordplay. Not getting offended. Sitting behind a screen. Um, one lesson my dad taught me. Yeah, never let your mouth write a check that your body can't cash. And uh, luckily, been in, been <laughs> been blixed a couple of times, you know, by guys that have got bigger bodies than I have. Uh, but uh, now I know when to shut up. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, so the the Ilant, uh, will will be processed when it gets here. Yeah, I'm not going to go out and chop one of our only elons out here um just put on the on the bright no i stay in a nature reserve for a reason uh nothing against uh going out and and uh hunting not at all but um yeah i'm not gonna kill my own animals no they're there for looking only there for the enjoyment of it cattle bones uh travis I'd much rather have someone that offended me but yeah it's a good idea it really is a good idea. And the dogs will appreciate that after the fact as well. Hmm, I might just have to go speak to my butcher. Ed, how's it going, buddy? Uh, Grant Stain, Mr. Grant Stain Forge on, well, you know, on Facebook. Yeah, but go check him out on, on, uh, uh, oh, I'm dying over here. YouTube, go and check Grant Stain Forge. Yeah. Uh, He's getting up some really, really, I don't know, weird stuff. Not really weird stuff. Uh, cool stuff. Check out his little power hammer. Mm. 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 Uh, a giraffe hammer? No, dude. No, I don't even use that shit on my knives. Uh... <laughs> Touche, well done. Well done, brother. I like that, dude. <laughs> you should get worried when I rock up there, yeah, with 200 knives. You're going to spend your entire fucking day sharpening other people's knives. Uh, did I play any other Assassin's Creed game? Yeah, Odyssey. I uh, got up to the big chicken. And that chicken just kicks my ass. I can't get past the thing. Yeah, um, I know it's early in the game as well. My kids are just laughing at me because every time they need to reload the game so that dad can take on the chicken. Um absolute pleasure buddy absolute pleasure <laughs> yeah okay so gentlemen anything else uh what are we watching uh we are watching i'm gonna find my brand button 
This is the live stream for e Building of Evil's Axe for Assassin's Creed Valhalla, episode 2.3. Yes, I know last week wasn't uh, there wasn't any any uh, build videos, otherwise we should have been on three, seeing that I'm on week four now, so there'll only be three videos, maybe four, uh, but I am planning on releasing a video on Thursday. Yeah, um, so I skipped last week. I know it's bad, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to get in crap for, for skipping that one. Um, we'll, we'll see. I'm pushing my luck here. I want to finish this act this week. Don't tell anyone, but I want to, I, I, I really want to deliver this thing on Saturday. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, sure. Now, if I can just find, it costs an arm and a leg. If I can just find a brother with an arm and a leg that's willing to stand still for long enough, yeah, and bleed in a in a designated area where there's tops and other type of thing, then we'll definitely be chopping people. Um, no, not really, not really. Well, maybe you don't know. Uh, thanks, Travis. That's appreciated, man. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm now really, really talking crap. Yeah, I'm gonna leave you with a final shot of this thing where we're at at the moment um am lust of liking this this it's now picking up a bit of rust from all the rain and uh everything is extremely brown everything my tabletop this thing if i put it down it kind of blends in so uh i was thinking of maybe just going out and patina in this thing yeah let me just take the comment off so i can actually use some of this footage hey, no 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 fit it in the screen without looking like a bloody banana there we go. Yeah. I think she is going to look freaking awesome. I am liking this thing, man. I am liking this thing. And I can tell you it is a, it is, it takes self-control not to swing this thing around yet because the head isn't fitted yet. Yeah. It still needs to be driven down. That's why you've got that space in there. But I couldn't drive it down anymore because I didn't know where the carving is going to end. Yeah. So once the carving's done, I can move this down. Um, I can maybe do a V blend in there to make everything nice, fitted, and and build up that collar. Mm. And uh, the 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 wood is currently flush at the top. As you can see there, yeah, it is flush, 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 flush. Um, now I've got it carved ever so slightly smaller because I do want to do an a once I fitted it, I want to do a butt cap that goes over that. Yeah, that fits in there. That's going to sit out about that much. Hmm. So we'll see. We'll see. I might also just do two pins on uh, the bottom edge there. Yes, I know his axe doesn't have that, but I like putting those in. It's just an extra safety precaution. For whoever gets this thing, if he decides to go and chop his uh, his stake or his bolt on, um, that he doesn't destroy the axe, but rather his garden furniture. Yeah. Because that's what axes do. Yeah, uh, but we might have to just cut that something on the bry before we, uh, well, let it go, yeah. Uh, Ed is saying, get it done. You need to pray for me, guys. Yeah, man, so every every night, every every evening, uh, um, I've been sitting my butt down and uh, working at least two or three hours on uh, my knives. Yeah, well, I I'll, 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 I'll might have three, but... I think I'm only going to have two. Uh, today's 11 days before uh, Brooklyn Knife Show. So you guys don't know the Brooklyn Knife Show. Largest knife show on the African continent. I'm the organizer. Be there. Um, four, five, and six December. Mm -hmm. So not this coming weekend. Next weekend. This baby, my play knife, will be there. And she'll be done. She'll have a sheath. The whole works. Um, and then the dagger will be there. And if everything goes exactly according to plan and my schedule i might even have a damascus stiletto there yeah so uh, bring your money bring your mates all right make sure they bring their money and come visit us man we are uh, 74 knife makers and 14 suppliers so even if you're a knife maker and you're watching this uh thanks man um and you're watching this Pop around to the Brooklyn Knife Show. Yeah, come chat to other makers. This is where you learn. This is the social aspect of a knife show. Um, and then uh, you're more than welcome. I'll be in my office, which is outside of the, the shopping center, excuse me. 
uh, having a smoke. I have got um, a whole bunch of cigars, so I'm going to be there for a while smoking. Yeah. Uh, my wife said that uh, last year, she jokingly told everyone, uh, all the exhibitors, we've got a WhatsApp group uh, just to keep things flowing during the course of the show. Um, and she said on there that uh, she is going to wear a T-shirt, or she's going to give me a T-shirt that says, uh, report to your wife, and she's going to um, make a T-shirt for herself that says, have you seen Nils? <laughs> just all over the place, man. All over the freaking place. Uh, Durian, thanks, buddy. That's appreciated, man. <laughs> Dude, I, I know. All right, have you pissed off a chicken yet? No. Oh, it's my two boys. Yeah. They were like, man, I'd say about three, maybe four years old. Um, the, the youngest was about four years, eldest is about six. So uh, go to the go down the farm, Eastern Cape. My dad's farm, and uh, he had a couple of huge chickens. And, they, and there's this, uh, um, yeah, one of them was just aggro, yeah. And they go into uh, the chicken coop to go and collect eggs. And this just one chicken was just chasing uh, the three cousins, uh, my two boys, and uh, uh, one of their cousins around that freaking chicken coop. It was hilarious. They didn't think so, but everyone else was just pissing themselves. Um, <laughs> uh, do you can a knife? On me, on you, on me. What the hell? Do you? All right. Sorry, man. Yeah, buddy. Better. It's gonna be cool. All right. So. I am going to love you guys right there. We've been going for, what's it, 47 minutes. Uh, this has been a long one, but half of it is just me talking crap, yeah? Dude, not yet. Not yet, but we will get there. Uh, Rudolph, now you're talking, buddy. Now you are talking, yeah? <coughs> so I just had a good mate. I don't know if I should say this. Um, for, for the Brooklyn Knife Show, yeah, you know that we've got a competition, knife makers competition. Now, unfortunately, you need to be an exhibitor to partake in the competition. Uh, but aside from the, the certificate and the trophy, um, we've had a fellow knife maker that is into uh, something else. Phoned me up and he said that he would want to sponsor those. So um, I just need to clear it with uh, the powers that be that we can actually pull this off and if we can man it sucks that i can't enter a competition where i'm the judge yes yeah. <laughs> it really 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 sucks because of course no one will win in it yeah so knife makers you're watching this brooklyn knife show uh get a hold of me send me an email niels at knife show or go on to knife show Subscribe to the mailing list or pop me an email from there saying that you want to competition forms, yeah, uh, the guidelines. If you're clever, you will make a knife for each of those categories. Don't be the guy that pulls up the morning of the show um, when you have to have your entries and you come up to me saying, well, then what, what, what category does this knife fit into? Don't be that fucking guy, yeah? But anyway, more on that next week. Um as well as uh, Knife Show Aikid. We'll be covering that again and again and again and again. <coughs> Thanks, buddy. Okay, so that was it. Ladies and gentlemen, I say thank you very much for spending a bit of time with me. Thank you for uh, joining us on this broadcast. I'm looking forward to, uh, well, show you where we get to tomorrow. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping to have tomorrow, by the end of tomorrow, to have this side and that side the same. In other words, this carving done as well as that carving done. But that's what I said today. Yeah, and I only managed the one. So uh, that's it. We'd love to leave you, and we'll see you on the flip side. Be good, and if you can't, take photos, man. Take photos. <laughs>